Are you wondering when is the best time for you to get pregnant? Well, listen to this video and I will explain to you how to work out when the best time is for you to get pregnant. Hi, I'm Vicky from Oh My Mama Body. I really love supporting you on your journey to motherhood to help you to transform and stop those struggles. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate you coming here and watching me. And please do subscribe to my channel to get even more great videos. Have you been trying to get pregnant but haven't really had much success yet? You've been struggling a bit and really wondering when is the best time for you to get pregnant? So it all starts out with how to calculate your cycle to keep in tune with your body and understand the symptoms and changes during your monthly cycle. Okay, so our monthly cycles, they start off with day one being the first day that we get our period. And then the last day of our cycle is the day we get the next period. So the space in between is the number of days of length that your cycle is. Many women have 28 day cycles, but that's only an average. I, for example, have anything between 22 days and 25 days. Others can have 35 day cycles, okay? So it's all different. So don't worry if you're slightly under or over that average. I know that some of you also have PCOS and your cycles are more irregular, but keep listening in anyway, because this information really does apply to you as well. The number one important thing to know when you're trying to get pregnant is your ovulation date. Now, I know so many women, they use a pregnancy app and they're tracking using an app which predicts when you're ovulating, but it might not be accurate. And quite a few women have already come back to me and said, thank you so much because they were relying on their app and not listening to their body. So listen to your bodily symptoms and know your signs of ovulation. Now I do have a much more detailed video about that coming across now. So go and check that out after you've watched this video. You just have to rewind a bit and then you can go and check out that video, okay? So when you ovulate, it's really different from woman to woman. Some of us ovulate really early in our cycles, others can ovulate much later on, and others, others ovulate right in the middle, okay? But the average is between days 10 and 14 or 15, but you might not be average. That's why it's so important to know your symptoms, okay? So it's really important that you not only just track the days of your cycle, but you also track the symptoms during your cycle because our hormones go up and down during our cycle. And that's when you get to know how you're feeling emotionally and physically and what they are actually a sign of, okay? So when you're coming towards ovulation, your estrogen hormone is starting to really peak, which is telling your egg to grow and then be released and then start traveling down your fallopian tube, ready to be fertilized. At the same time, the rest of your body is getting ready for it. Um, emotionally, you start feeling more in the mood for having intercourse with your partner, your cervical mucus turns to a, like an egg white consistency because it's getting fertile. It's getting ready to allow the sperm to flow up into your womb and fertilize that egg. You might even feel your egg being released from its follicle. I definitely feel it on one side. It's like a lower backache as it comes off and is released and starts traveling down that fallopian tube. And you may notice around that time that you're feeling very sociable, you're really in the mood for going out, you're feeling very confident about yourself. A lot of that can happen around the time of ovulation. So that's why it's all important to really get in tune with your body. Now, I do have loads more help for you on the subject of getting pregnant. So come and join my group mama meets and midwife where you'll get loads more information from me about what's going on 
I do Oh My Mama Body retreats so that you can help your body, mind and soul get in that space and step into a positive cycle because so many of us get stuck in a negative cycle of overwhelm when we're trying to get pregnant. It's all we can think about. We give ourselves a hard time and it's a little tiny shift to get us into that positive cycle and then things will start changing amazingly in your life. So do come and have a look at all my testimonials about all the women I've helped so far to help them get into that positive shift because it's amazing just to see their transformations and I really wish that positivity for you as well. So underneath this video, there's a video details section. You should be able to open it if you press an arrow this side or that side and it will open up a whole space where you'll find loads more information about Oh My Mama Body Retreat and also about my fertility program to help you get pregnant and breeze through your journey into motherhood. Okay, so you've learned a bit about the ovulation signs and symptoms and now you really want to know when is the best time for me to get pregnant. Well, it needs to be around that ovulation window. Sperm can live inside your body for up to five days, sometimes even longer according to medical experts. So even though you might have had sex five days before your date of ovulation, it still would be possible to get pregnant from that date. So you really need to feel in for that feeling of when your egg is being released, that pop feeling, or maybe a slight dull pain feeling, and then really go for it around that time because that is the optimal time. I mean, you can also use ovulation kits, of course. You can use ones where you pee on a stick. You can use a really great one, which I thoroughly support from Mira, Mira Fertility Kit. And you can get a really great discount with Mira if you use my discount code. Should be coming along the top right now. And again, I'll put it in the video details for you. Using that one, you can really, really track your LH level. Now it's the LH hormone that's rising and peaking, and that is showing when exactly is your highest fertile point. So you can pee on sticks and the line will get darker and darker and then lighter and lighter, but you can use an ovulation kit which will give your exact reading of your exact LH level. So if you really wanna pinpoint it, that's the way you need to be going. So again, go and check out Mira Fertility Kit and use OMMB136, that's my code, it's also coming along the top, and go and get your discount on that because it's really, really worth it if you're really wanting to get pregnant. Okay, so do keep on trying, don't lose the faith. You need to keep the mindset as well. And that's what I help you with at Oh My Mama Body as well. So do come along and join one of my retreats where I really help you step into that positive flow to help you get pregnant. I really look forward to hearing from you and wishing you all the very best. Bye for now.